Thank you, Britt. The other half of the 6A bracket also settled here in Jefferson County. Ballard was the only JCPS school to make the Final Four, and like Trinity, the Bruins' opponent tonight made the trip west from Lexington. Addie Miners has the highlights from Ballard. The matchup between Bryan Station and Ballard that happened earlier this season was a close one, came down to the wire, and this one was no different. <laughs> Ballard came out ready to avenge that 28 to 21 loss they took to the defenders earlier this season, taking a big lead early. This grab from Alpha Seco wow, would make it 14 to nothing Bruins in the second quarter. On the other side of the ball, the Bruins defense did its job holding Bryan Station to just three points in the first half. After the break, Bryan Station found the momentum it was lacking. They'd make it a one-score game with this three-yard run by Caitlin Washington, 14 to 10. It was a back-and-forth battle throughout the second half until Journey Weiss stiff arm into the end zone to give Ballard a 21 to 10 lead. But when it came down to it, Bryan Station would put up 14 points in the fourth quarter, and the Ballard Bruins seemed to just run out of gas. They had no answer and fell to the defenders 24 to 21. Well, we're proud of the season. Um, came down to just execution for us tonight. There's a couple plays that we didn't execute on, or we overly executed and got a couple uh, penalties, and it just came back to bite us in the butt. I'm just proud of them. I told them I'd meet them inside in the locker room, so we're still going to talk. Um, but just really proud of my team and, and as far as we came this year, uh, really thought we had a chance to win tonight and unfortunately we just couldn't get it done. Well, the Ballard Bruins will finish their season at 10 and 4 while Bryan Station will head to the state championships next weekend in Lexington. From Pat Crawford Stadium, I'm Addie Miners, WLKY Sports.